This was interesting. So the Bene Gesserit have started this prophecy from millennia ago, which is actually a really cool way for science fiction to do actual prophecy, not just like some book said it and it happened. No, no, no. This is like the Bene Gesserit set the ideas in motion and the events in motion eons ago, and then they made the prophecy occur. So for the people who are looking at the prophecy, they're like, oh my Wait, gosh. What is the prophecy in this case? The prophecy in this case, I'm not exactly sure, but Paul Atreides is somehow represents the the one who was written to, to if, come if, to Arrakis. If, if I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Paul is the person, he's like a guy from the sky would come down and he would yeah. lead the people to water, to water planet. The paradise, and, yeah. And I think the mom, the like... The, the mom would be the Bene Gesserit, like the, the mother of the Reverend Mother, and yeah. she would drink poison and then come back. You're right. And so then, and he, so the religious he people. He would ride the large worm. Yeah, exactly, events. exactly. Yeah. So religious people are like, it's a prophecy. Whereas, whereas Janice, Johnny, Johnny here is like, mm -hmm. it's not a prophecy. Like her people said that they would do it. So of course they would do it. So I just find it, I found it very interesting that they would know that her people wrote that. That's a good point. Because that's a we. if they know, if, if the Fremen know that it is a created thing, that is a strong counter argument that could, you know, reduce belief in the Fremen. So somehow the Bene Gesserit's plan leaked. I don't know how that happened. I don't know why the Fremen I mean, I, even would have I, wind of that. I can imagine that it's this is speculation on her part that mm -hmm. that the that the Bene Gesserit made uh, the prophecy, and then from the religious person's perspective, they're like, "You're you're just trying to undercut. You're trying to. Of course, okay. you'd say that her people wrote it. In fact, it's blasphemy. Is exactly what he says. I I see. Like I guess if if, if if there was if there was knowledge that it was written by the Bene Gesserit, it would certainly be lost in time, like thousands of years. Like stories change, stories morph. People can't tell it right. Mm -hmm. I just think that the Bene Gesserit should also handle this idea, get rid of, not get rid of it, but lessen it. Ah. I guess they've done a good job, but I'm inter it's interesting that they were able to explicitly say her people wrote that. Well, well, I guess you write it into the prof into the prophecy that when the person comes down, the, the Lisan Al Gaib, when this person arrives, there will be naysayers, and there you go. Mm -hmm. She's wrapped into the prophecy. She's now playing her role. I see. And you make the naysayers kind of ambiguous, and so she's playing her role as a naysayer. I, okay, okay, exactly. I like it. Okay. Super cool. Super cool super. the way the Bene Gesserit plays out through time. Yeah, very cool.